Hey everybody, it's Amy here from Getting Out of the Basement. And uh, we're doing a little bit of spring chores here. Uh, I harvested some rhubarb yesterday. And when I started chopping, I don't know why I didn't grab the uh, camera sooner, this entire wheelbarrow was full of rhubarb. We have three plants here. And I've already chopped up a full bag. I'm going to weigh it all at the end so I know how much it is. So I'm going to have a lot of rhubarb wine and crisps in my future. This is the weapon of choice today. My cleaver. I started off with the serrated knife and the little, the smaller butcher knife. But these things are just so fibrous that you really need something good and sharp to just chop right through. First thing we gotta do is wash off the rhubarb. So I got my handy dandy washer here. I don't use any pesticides or herbicides, but I did notice some some buggies on here. So I'm just... Plus there's also just the, the stuck on leaves. These were harvested yesterday. So, just to make sure that nothing got stuck and dried on. You don't want to eat the leaves of the rhubarb because they're poisonous. But the stalks make such a nice tangy treat. There's a the fiber. Oh, and can you see how red that one is? That's going to be beautiful. If you've never had rhubarb, and I've talked to people, I've, I've met people online from the States and I tell them I'm having some rhubarb crisp and they go, oh, what's that? I'm like, what do you mean you've never heard of rhubarb? It's, it's pretty much a weed up here. So you gotta chop the ends off because they're all dried out. Anyways, where was I going with that story? If you've never had it, the um, and you're shopping for it, the red ones are sweeter than the green ones. But when I say sweeter, it's really all subjective because I've known people that have taken this and they're like, "Oh, it'll be sweeter." And then they take a big bite and they just make the uh, funniest faces. Try it with your friends. They'll they'll love that little joke. So then you just gotta chop it up. Keeping your fingers well away from the knife. And there we go. I don't chop mine all the way through because I'm still a little tentative with the knife. But if you had really good knife skills, then I, I you would probably. And this won't matter. I mean, when we're making crisp, we'll, the stirring will just break this all apart. But for ease of increasing the surface area when it's cooking and for storing it in bags, that's, that's good enough. There we go. Chop the ends off. Goes in the uh, pig bucket. I don't have any pigs, but I love hearing Mrs. Wolfie talk about her pig bucket and her pigs and it just makes me smile. So it's my pig bucket. That'll all go in the compost. I'm going to be here for a while. 